Hey everyone, want to get more out of your Bamboo Labs printer? I'm going to be showing you why you should be using the Soft Fever version of the Bamboo Lab Studio. I'll be posting this tutorial on my YouTube page and I will break it up into segments and put it on TikTok. Uh, if you want to check out the full version, it'll be in my links above. Let's do it. Soft Fever is a community driven version of Bamboo Studios. I like it because it has a couple extra odds and ends that help you calibrate your prints. And let's get to it. First of all, you're going to want to download Soft Fever from Bamboo Studios. You can get it on GitHub. The link's up here. You would just download the version you need. I'm not going to go through all that because you all know how to download stuff. Alright, so you got it installed. This is your Soft Fever Bamboo. It looks similar to this one. So what we're going to do is load this up. Over prepare. So the reason this one's good is because it has this little calibration tool. It'll let you do your flow rate and your pressure advance. The standard version it has generic settings for generic PLA, uh, PLA silk, and their branded stuff. And it doesn't change your pressure advance. It'll read the flow rate and change it if you use the uh, little flow rate thing they have before every print. Uh, this will eliminate the need for that and it will help you set up each filament you have to work even better. So first thing you're going to do is choose your generic PLA and go into this little edit menu here. So this is what we're going to be changing. You'll have your flow ratio and your pressure advance. Right now we're not going to worry about the pressure advance, we're just going to worry about the flow ratio. So first thing I'm going to do is save it. And I'm going to save it as the filament I am doing this on, which I will be doing everyone. Matt Green. So now you will have everyone Matt Green in your user presets. Let's change the picture here. Yeah, that works. Alright, let's get to the calibration. Then you'll go to your little calibration tab up here, go to flow rate, and go to pass one. This will generate nine squares, values ranging from 20 to negative 10. Now you don't have to do anything with G-code, this is all built in. So all you would have to do is slice it. And to see if it's working, you can change your color scheme here to go to flow. As you can see, there is a difference in color. So your flow is higher here and lower here, and it'll do it automatically. So let's get this printed. You want to turn your flow calibration off. Uh, I turn I'll turn these off because you don't really need them. And then we'll send it to the printer and go from there. Alright, so pass one is done and this is what you get. Some are going to look a lot worse than the others. It's normally the two extremes. You can feel it's rough up here. But what you're looking for is the consistency in the middle. You don't want to see any gaps like you would in this one. Because that one's a negative 10 flow rate. I don't know if you can get it on the camera, but there's a lot of gaps in here. And you don't want it overflowing and sticking up like this. The edges, you don't want to worry too much about when you see them because that's part of the pressure advance, which we'll be doing later. So right now you're just looking at the middle. And on this one, it looks like it's going to be between the 0 and the 5 for the best looking one. So I'm actually going to go with 2 on this. Alright, so my first one, we're going with the 5 because that's the one that looked the best. So what we're going to do here is open up your settings. 
and your fl original flow ratio is 0 0.98. So you're going to pull up your little calculator. I'll put the formula on the screen. It is your old flow rate, which would be this number here. And you multiply that by 100 times your multiplier. So that was 100. And I had a 5, so it is 105. So we do 0 0.98 times 105 and then you divide that by a hundred so right now that is my new flow rate so we're going to pop that number in here we're going to save it now we get rid of all this Go back to calibration and then go to pass two. Now this one is a more subtle one to fine tune it. It goes from zero to negative seven. So it's not as extreme. If you slice it and go to flow you can barely see the difference in the flow right here. So we're going to run that and see how that one goes. Again make sure your flow calibrations off. Uh, you really don't need bed level in your time lapse on it. Don't make a difference. And we wait for the next one. All right, this is pass two of the calibration test. It is a lot more subtle. So you can see there's gaps here. This one looks okay. So what you're going to want to find is the best consistency on each of these. The flattest surface. I'm going to say it's negative three. This one looks really nice could argue go with that one too but I'm gonna go with the uh, negative three on this one so let's take it back to the computer all right so I'm going with the negative three so again I'll use the same formula so you take that three minus a hundred so you go one point zero two nine times 97 divided by 100 so that is your new number 0.998 and that is my new flow rate you could run the test again probably wouldn't hurt but I found twos plenty so after that, make sure you leave this unchecked because that's what we're doing next and make sure you save it. Let's get rid of all these. Go back to calibration and go to pressure advance. For the bamboo labs it is direct drive so this is what you want and I found the line method works best. So start that, discard all those, and this will come up on your build plate. So once you see the pressure advance test there, you'll hit slice, and you'll see all these lines on here. You'll go to your print plate, and for this one you definitely want to have your bed leveling on. Again, the flow calibration off because we already did that permanently so you'll never need that again with that filament and let's run it all right the pressure advanced test is done what you're looking for is the line that has the most consistency throughout the whole line some of them you'll see blobs and gaps so looking at this my range is probably going to be through here I think the point zero or 0 0.022 looks the best so let's go back to the computer and put that in all right back to the pressure advance once you have it set up click your filament here you want to enable your pressure advance and input the numbers you got I actually went with 0 0.028 
Then you want to save your filament and settings. And you are done with calibration. And now, all right, now that we got all our settings saved, whenever you print a file, let's find a file here. Let's go with the can opener lid, that works. So you just choose what filament, brand, color you have from the list and it will automatically be calibrated for that specific filament. You slice it, go to your print, and you no longer ever have to use your flow calibration, which saves you a good 5-10 minutes. And you get the best results for every filament you got. Alright, now that all that's done, you can calibrate all your filaments and get the best possible quality out of everything that you do. Um, I hope this helps. Good luck.